it's amazing. It's an amazing night. You know, the, the everyone's here. The fans are here. The movie is fantastic. I uh, can't wait. We are. This is the world premiere of San Andreas. What's up? Whoa! Why is this movie so special for you? <laughs> uh, the movie is special because it, it was our. It was my first opportunity in a genre that I'd never worked in. That's a big genre. It's a disaster film genre. Not many are made. And it was my first crack at it, all of us, and we just wanted to make a great big movie that stood the test of time. I think we did it. Look at my face right there. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I mean, how big was the risk that you took in terms of making this movie? Was there a lot of special effects that were dangerous for you? Um, that's a great question. It's not necessarily, I love your shirt, by the way. Yeah, that's the man. Um, not necessarily special effects that were dangerous, just the practical stunts that were dangerous. So, for example, um, I wanted to be tied in. Me, me and Brad Payton wanted to make sure that I was tied in as much as we could to all the stunts because it's not a superhero movie, and we tried to make everything as practical as possible. We shot in San Francisco Bay, outside of ATT Park, the baseball stadium there, uh, shot in the second biggest water tank in the world, submerging a lot of uh, downtown San Francisco. So not necessarily the, the visual effects shots, but more the practical stuff. Uh, rappelling out of a helicopter, not cutting away, making sure that it was me on the side of a cliff. There were a lot of things that we did that were a little dangerous, but, but that's what you do when you're committed. You play a good guy in this film. Are you looking forward to playing the villain in uh, Shazam? I can't wait. I, I can't wait because he's a unique type of villain. As you know, you know, for fans out there who know the mythology, when you start off as a slave, you're not in a good mood. And there's a, there's a heavy wrath that a lot of people have to pay. But when it's fueled by a, uh, a righteous anger, if you will, like Black Adam, then it becomes, then you open up to what you can, you, you open up to what the character can be, and which I'm really excited about. You know, that's why he's just not a straightforward bad guy, you know? And finally, one last question. In terms of WWE, when, when can we look forward to seeing you back in the ring? Uh, I, I hope soon. We've discussed next year's WrestleMania, possibly. Uh, discuss it all the time with Triple H. We've got a great relationship, me and the old man, Vince. Uh, I say that respectfully. I call him that respectfully. He works harder than all of us. Um, so uh, the key with WWE, and the fans know this, is I, first of all, I love surprising them. It's my favorite thing I do on Raw or WrestleMania. But I also want to make sure that when we go back, we, we can create something special, man, and big and, and epic. And right now we're trying to figure out what that is. Thank you, man. Pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!